In this lecture, we're going to look at finding the error due to finite gain in op amps. So here we have a circuit where we have uh, a, a negative feedback around an op amp, and this is a non-inverting configuration. So here we have a resistor RF, here we have a resistor RI, and we know that our output voltage is equal to the gain times the difference between the two op amp terminals. Now here we're going to say that we have an op amp that has a single pole, so its frequency response is given with the following equation. Now if we do KCL at node A, which is the inverting input terminal to the op amp, we can find the following. And with some algebraic manipulation, we can yield the following result. Okay, we can actually split this up into two terms. our gain term and a frequency shaping term. Now, if we take the limit of this equation as A tends to infinity, which is what we want from our op amp, we find the following, that the gain is just equal to 1 plus RF divided by RI. In other words, the op amp doesn't have anything to do with the gain. Now, let's look at this uh, just from the perspective of a simple feedback loop. For this simple feedback loop that we've drawn here, we know that the gain is equal to A divided by 1 plus A times beta. Now what we're saying, uh, if we say that uh, the limit of AFB as A tends to infinity, this, of, uh, this ends up equaling 1 over beta. And what we're saying really is that the feedback terms are the things that entirely set the gain. Now, if we look at this from the perspective of the prior op amp analysis, 1 over beta would simply be equal to 1 plus RF over RI. In other words, our feedback is setting the gain, and the feedback is determined by the ratio of the resistances in the circuit. Okay, so we'll stop there and continue looking at more on finite gain and op amps in the next set of slides.